for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I have a request by some of my viewers asking me about how to polish their fountain pens and what to use. Well, what I use is a brand called Renaissance. It's a micro crystalline wax polish. And it looks like right there. And uh, I'll read you what it says. Apply sparingly with a soft cloth. And this one came with uh, this little jar. Uh, and buff gently. Dries instantly. And that's really good. Resistance on liquid spillage. Does not show finger marks. That's another good thing. Uh, it's a refined wax blended to the formula used by the British Museum and Restoration Specialists internationally to revive and protect valuable furniture, leather, paintings, metals, marble, ivory, and many other surfaces, both house and exposed to weather. Fashion's colors and soft sheen. So. I got this off eBay. I think I got this for under ten dollars, maybe under thirteen. Not a lot, and you get a bigger jar if you want. And it usually comes with a cloth, but any small, a soft cloth would do it. So enough of me, and so I'm gonna show you how I do mine, and uh, I'm gonna use it on my. Sailor 1911. So, without further ado, let's get to it. What do you say? All right, here we go. And there's the jar I just showed you. And there's the top of the lid. So, let's get with it. Got the cloth in my finger. That's how I do mine. And I just get a little bit out like that. So here I go. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but it does come out nice and shiny. And I'll do the top part. I think it's really important, at least for me, to always maintain my pins to the best of my ability because we love our pins, right? And uh, we pay a lot of money for our pins. Uh, even if it's below 50 bucks, it's still a lot of money. Whatever the price may be, just the proper care for your pins to help that pin last for as long as it can. And uh, pins can last for decades. The vintage pins, uh, the, the vintage pins, uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen or even owned them. They use this uh, polish as well. And a gentleman in uh, England uses this particularly one a whole lot. And there's a, a reviewer here in the United States, Chris, he also uses this, I believe. But this is good stuff, doesn't cost a lot, and it doesn't take much, and voila, there you go. See if you can see that any better.
And one thing, you do not want to get it on your nib. Do not get it on your nib or feed. Stay away from there. Yes, you can do the grip. If you choose to, stay away from the nib or the feed because it could block it up. Well, I hope you found this review helpful on how to polish your pen and uh, the brand that I use. I hope that's also helpful with you. So, everybody, I hope this answers your question. On eBay, you can find this. And other than that, leave me any more comments you would like, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Have a great day, and happy writing to each and every one of you. I'll see you later.